Hey guys, this is Kevin, Cyclehawk. Hey, uh, I'm kind of going through a little bit of an experiment here. Uh, I'm obviously new to the whole YouTube moto vlogging scene and uh, just trying to get started in it. And the whole reason that I want to get started in this is just because of the fact that uh, I wanted to kind of document this season that I'm in. Um, just getting back into riding again after probably at least 10 years of, uh, you know, not owning a motorcycle. And so with technology the way it is, uh, you know, to be able to get back and ride and document the rides and document kind of this adventure that I'm going through, um, yeah, it just seemed like a pretty cool way to do it. And, you know, I can sit and talk about motorcycle stuff to people that other people that actually care about it because Lord knows my family does not care anything about hearing about all my motorcycle stuff. So this is kind of a, just a way for me to get that out and have some fun at the same time. But in the process, trying to figure out how to get video and audio and the placement of this and getting uh, this sound and all that that is something that all motor vloggers go through and i've watched so many videos and some great videos out there and most of them will show you setups to go on a full face helmet and as you can see here i've got a full face helmet and i've got the little chin mount uh, for the GoPro and then I will put a microphone inside and doing this traditional and I've got this and this down and this works fine problem that I've got is the fact that I prefer this helmet and <laughs> I don't really want to try to figure out and mount some GoPro on my Microdot helmet, which is one of the coolest helmets made. Uh, I didn't want to figure out how to mount a camera onto this, and then also figuring out some way to get audio. But I just, when it is nice out, I just enjoy this helmet. So, I watched a video that John from Road Reality, which I'll put a link to his channel uh, in the section below, but it was one of the first ones that I saw that had a good plan as far as he uses a half helmet and uh, GoPros and gets a really good audio. So... But what he does with his half helmet is he puts a mount on the side of the helmet and so he has his GoPro mount here and he'll use a uh, Rode uh, wireless system that will plug, uh, plug to the GoPro. I believe that's his latest version, but you can check out his YouTube channel and I'll put a link uh, to that down below. And then he uses a microphone a lapel mic that he puts down here okay so taking that idea uh i thought to myself you know what i have a chest mount let's give this a try so here's the idea i'm going to take the chest mount i'll put it on mount my gopro now of course you can see i have a hero 3 yeah, a Hero 3. This thing's about 100 years old. But I've got a couple of these laying around. So, you know, before I go out and start spending a lot of money on something that's just fun for me, um, I'm trying to make these work. And so, but here's the cool thing about the Hero 3s, and I think it was up until the Hero 4s, is you can buy this little adapter right here. And that adapter 
can plug right into there and then you can plug a microphone into it and record your audio that's one of the cool things about it without having to get the the media mod and all of that sort of thing so i'm trying to utilize those so here's the idea that i've got and i'm going to test so i'm going to put the uh this really oh and it's probably going to hit my mic that i'm using for recording so i apologize the sound is going to get a little crazy but. okay so put this chest mount on here let me see can you see here okay anyway put a chest mount here and then mount the gopro like so and uh, you know and kind of adjust my angle so i got that and then what i'm going to do is uh, let me get my jacket so i'll put uh, this riding jacket on and i could do the same thing with my leather jacket but uh i think this right here will do so what i'll do is i'll zip the i'm gonna zip the jacket up right below this first i'm gonna take my purple panda mic that's got the dead cat on it so i'm gonna take that and i am going to clip it and this is based off of what john did on road reality i'm gonna clip it for me this is where i want to try I'm going to clip it right to this part of my jacket. And I guess I could put it on the lapel, you know, on my shirt or something. But I'm going to try it right there. And then I'll take the rest left over, kind of tug it up here. But uh, I'm going to plug in here and plug into the GoPro. Okay, now I'm going to zip up the jacket. Sorry, trying to get in the camera. I don't have a lot of room in my garage. I should have pulled the car out of the garage, but hey, you know, it is what it is. You don't need to see my face anyway. Who cares? So anyway, I can zip up right here. And then I'll just take my little latch here across the car. And so covering up the microphone. So the microphone's gonna be right here. And so here's the test that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna try to use the GoPro with the microphone here and see what kind of audio we can get with this and uh, and see what we come up with so uh, let's take it out and uh, we'll take it outside and take it uh, for a ride and see what we come up with and then we'll come back and uh, kind of uh, talk about it a little bit. We're gonna go off the base of this mountain here and see what we can get. All right, so, this is a great mountain. I'm actually gonna do, I'll do a moto vlog once I get everything worked out, actually going up this, this is going up Sub Creek Mountain. And uh, it's a beautiful place to ride, but I gotta make sure that I'm, I can get audio. I mean, if this all fails, I'll go back to the full face helmet, which I know works. I'm just kinda hoping that when it's beautiful outside and it's nice, sunny day that I could actually wear my half helmet, you know, and uh, get some decent audio. Okay. <laughs> I'm really surprised. I, I think it uh, can use some tweaking and maybe make some adjustments, but I, I can't believe that I actually was able to hear the audio going 
50 plus miles per hour that I could actually still hear me talking. So, and the video that you heard, I didn't do any tweaking, any EQing on the audio that was just straight off the camera. And so if I did some tweaking there in post-production, and probably get even better but uh, so that's something I want to play around with but uh, so maybe this is a good idea uh, maybe the audio is not good enough um, so let me know in the comments what you think is, is it worth it or should I just go full-faced um, I just enjoy uh, wearing a half helmet and just a breeze but I want to be able to talk to you guys at the same time. So uh, let me know what you think. And like I said, I'm still running tests before I really start doing uh, full-fledged uh, moto vlogs. Um, but I intend to do that and record some of my rides. And then also I do some modifications here to my bike. And I'm going to just document that. Uh, if you look at my channel, you can see a few of the things that I've started doing. But... Uh, like I said, just getting started in this, and so I appreciate it if you would uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the little notification. And uh, when I start putting out some content, man, you know, let me know in the comments. What do you like about it? What am I doing wrong? What could I do better? And um, you know, hopefully, uh, I can put some things out there that are helpful to people. Maybe somebody, you're watching this and you're like, hey, you know, I, I'd like to do some motor vlogging with a half helmet and, uh, and maybe this is something that would work for you. I really appreciate John with Road Reality. Uh, he was the one that gave me the idea for this. And so I'm just doing a little kind of a uh, modification to his, uh, what's working well for him. And so I appreciate that. And... Uh, so check out his channel and uh, subscribe to it and like it. And hopefully we can all have a lot of fun out there riding. Be safe. Talk to you later.